This week, high temperatures have been nearing records, and that has made the right to the ride rather to and from school challenging for students in our area. That's because many school buses don't have air conditioning. Our Grace Brister talked to faculty at a Monroe County school about how they're helping keep their students safe. She's joining us in the studio tonight with that story. Grace. Students ride the bus in the morning, afternoon, and even in the middle of the day. A 20 to 30 minute bus ride with no air conditioning can feel a lot longer. So the Hamilton Attendance Center sought out a refreshing solution. It's been the hottest week of the year with temperatures reaching triple digits and buses with no air conditioning do not add up to a cool ride. This has been the hottest year that I have faced since I've been in education. Many students at Hamilton Attendance Center have had to ride the bus in the hottest parts of the day to take them to the Advanced Learning Center and the Career and Technical Center. And it's about a 20 minute bus ride. Principal Michelle Stevens says she knew something had to be done. About two weeks ago when we started looking at the forecast about how hot it was going to be in the afternoon, we started making plans um, and called two local businesses to see if they would be willing to donate some water to give to our students so they'd be hydrated on the buses. Thompson's Welding donated first. Then we contacted Tronox and they supplied us with several cases of water that should probably last us probably a week or two. Those businesses provided Hamilton with over 3,000 water bottles for students. We're fortunate in Monroe County with our admins at the schools. They're on top of those type situations and working with the community to tag team that. Superintendent Chad O'Brien says educators constantly keep an eye on the weather and their number one priority is always the student's safety. When you have heat like we've had for the last few days and anytime you have a, a, a situation like this that involves community effort, Hamilton, like all of our schools in Monroe County, is blessed with great community support. We have had parents that have reached out um, to see if they needed to donate water. Right now we've not had to use that resource, but we are very lucky to be in a community where people come together when we need something and help us. Stevens and O'Brien say their best advice for students is to make sure they stay hydrated throughout the day, wear proper clothing that won't get you too hot, and wait to load the buses until the last minute so students are not waiting in the heat.